Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. So first of all, there was a big update recently, and uh, the biggest part of the update is a new thing. I don't know, I don't know exactly what to call it, but it it goes in the same place that your cats and your cat fruit go. Something called a talent orb. Look at that, talent orb storage. Wow, these things are actually pretty crazy, though, guys. I gotta say, look at this. Um, oh shit. They had about talent orbs. There we go. I knew there was a button that brought this stuff up. Bring forth hidden potential. Introducing talent orbs. Power up your cat units by equipping them with talent orbs. Merge orbs to boost their power. Okay. All right. That sounds a little bit complicated. Talent orbs are items that unlock new abilities when equipped to a cat unit. Different orb types will unlock different abilities. Orbs are generally collected as rewards from enigma stages. I don't get a lot of enigma stages. Um but it would be nice to get something good from them. I haven't done enough Enigma stages to really know that much about Enigma stages, but I'm gonna wanna do one more now because of that. Even though I don't think I have this unlocked yet, I'm not sure. Collecting talent orbs as a reward will send them to the talent orb storage screen. Okay, talent orbs can be equipped by opening the talent window with the upgrade menu. Tap the plus button found in the center of the screen to move to the storage menu and select talent orbs to equip. So you can put these on and off, so I think it's kind of like having a, uh, a normal talent, except equipable. An equipable talent, okay, and you can merge them. Merging orbs of the same type and grade will power them up into a single orb of a higher grade. Higher grade orbs will provide more powerful ability benefits. So this one here is an attack up D red. Damage to red enemies increased. So I guess if you had like an A, that would uh, greatly increase the damage. Maybe like a massive damage type of thing. I'm not exactly sure obviously, but uh, it says that NP can be used to unequip orbs from a cat unit so that a different talent orb can be equipped. Okay, so if you wanna unequip it, you have to pay NP. Kinda interesting, also kinda weird and confusing. That's fine. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I don't have any talent orbs to mess with today. Though there is an enigma stage here. Shack of Spirit, what would you give me? What's uh, what's, what's up, dude? Guaranteed chance for half a million XP. That's kinda nice. I mean, I could use the XP. Get me in here. I've been doing some Cats of the Cosmos stuff because I know that Cats of the Cosmos is kind of a bit of a bottleneck for me right now. I need to get all the treasures. I need to go through Cats of the Cosmos 3. So I am gonna be working on that soon. I'm going on a little bit of a, a vacation uh, for a few days. I think it's, well, technically Wednesday evening to Sunday evening. So I'm on a road trip and I'm thinking maybe I can do a little bit of uh, grinding out in Battle Cats. That's not a guarantee. <laughs> But yeah, it is something I want to work on, the Cats of the Cosmos, and I also want to work on the uh, Stories of Legends stages. And I know that I'm a really, really slow progressor in this game. But that's, that's the YouTube life. I make a video once a week. I can't ruin everything by doing it off camera. All right, guys, I don't know what we're doing here. Look, let me just, let me just put on this one, okay? It's got a lot of different things in it. I don't know what kind of things are in this level, but it's only an insane stage. And today I'm gonna be taking on a merciless stage. So, should be nothing, right? Should be a walk in the park. Oh, zombies, really? Why would you give me zombies, man? It's like the worst thing you could have given me. Okay, whatever. I'm just, I'm just gonna slap you, bam. Okay, why don't you just, oh my gosh, okay, great. Now, you guys are over here, because everything's all confusing, because this is a zombie stage, and they're all like, I'm in a tunnel underground. Be a giant pile of crap, because that's what I do. yippee ki -yay! Uh, whatever, man. Here, have a one of these ones, huh? Boop. Okay. That's cool. I don't use Yukimura very much. I've been told to upgrade Yukimura. I had someone tell me that in the comments. Uh, I don't know how much upgrading I'm gonna do on the uh, on the girls that I got in the last episode, but I think I'll probably get Verbena to her true form. Uh, but Yukimura is now on my list of things that I need to TF. Okay. Hey, look at that. We did it. We got half a million XP for that. And. I forgot that you actually get 30 cat food and one leadership for that, so that's that's good. All right, thanks a lot. What I really wanted though was a talent orb. Look at this. Ooh, I think this is the recommendation thing, right? Where they they recommend stages for you to do. Recommended filter. Turning the switch on will display only uncleared maps recommended for you. And guess what, guys? I'm pretty sure they're all recommended. 
Isn't that crazy? I have a lot of stages I do not want to do here. The rolling, the dead keep rolling stages here. I've been recommended to do blue impact today, guys. So that's what I'm going to do. They're all apparently okay for me to do according to the recommendations here. So, okay. Red sky at night. Oh, also a merciless stage. You think we should try this? If we're going to do merciless stages today, if we're going to do one, we might as well do several or something. I've done Wrath of Red Sky. And that, oh, shit. This guy, right? Perfect Cyclone Floating, Category 5 Storm that grew massive by consuming lesser cyclones, repels threats from uber long distance. Meteorologists say getting near its eye disables its knockback. So we just need to get some dudes in there. We just need to get some, some octopus cats in there. Huh? And doesn't, um, doesn't the guy with the arms outrange this guy or something? Isn't that what we, we found out? Something like that? I don't know, man. My brain is mush. I don't know if I don't know if I've told you guys, but I, I'm pretty sure I did. I my brain is just it's it's soup. I have like a really dumb loadout on right now. It's okay. This is for fun, guys. I don't know. I don't know if I've told you that, but my videos are for entertainment. So let's be entertained. I'm gonna be entertained by how bad this level is to beat, aren't I? You just just I don't. Really? Just these guys right now? I wasn't ready. I didn't realize that- We're putting ramen in. Yeah, because ramen is a good guy. And he's gonna hold them off. And also, Saber? No. I think- Let's get an anti-angel in here. I was already on anti-angel. Um, probably gonna end up going with Zeus for this. Yeah? I know this is like a small part of the problem. You know, the big part of the problem is going to be that perfect cyclone who's probably also going to have other things backing him up at the same time. It's going to be gross. You guys think you can just, you know, push me around? Nah. And also, I still didn't put in Cyborg. Damn it. Okay, Gorilla is coming, so we're going to do this and get Rama out here. Hopefully hurt the Gorilla a lot. He's still alive. Aw, oh, damn. Okay, we knocked him back a bit. I think with Ramen, we should have a good meat shield situation going here. Oh no, man. Why are you guys so strong? Who made you so strong, man? Quit being strong! Okay, one of you stopped being strong. That's good. We can probably put out something else here. Yeah, let's get this guy. No biggie. Boop. These guys are still approaching, which is sad. How are none of them dying? How are these guys just alive, just chilling? Like, hey, it's, it's us. Living hippos with wings. You guys, I don't feel comfortable with this situation. I almost feel like I want to keep my, my dudes back, you know? Like, don't go up there. Let me, let me knock, let me do, let me knock on the door. And they'll push us back. There you go. All right. Because we need to get this guy out first. I'm pretty sure. As for the, uh, as for the unicorn, I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. I'm going to go with the rangy boys. Okay, I got some boys with range. The angels, man. Putting the angels with this guy? So bad. Such a bad thing to do. Why'd you do that? I know that Shishalan can't outrange these guys. I've learned that the hard way. I mean, it wasn't that much of a hard way. I just watched them die, you know? It was kind of sad. But it seems like Lufalan can't. But man, they're sending out a lot of these guys, and I did not put out enough of this shit. Did he die? Is he dead? Oh, Lufa land. Okay, so I need a long range angel killer because this unicorn right here seems to be the one thing that's taking us down right now. I don't know how much health he has. I don't really know much about anything. Can you just stop for a second? No, I know you can't stop. That's okay. Oh, Super Galaxy Cosmo, 100% knockback versus floating and angels. And also, he has a super long range attack. Let's try that, huh? He's expensive. Ooh. It's okay, because we're going to put him in, like, right away, and he can start working on coming back again. I think that's probably our best option here. Hypothetically speaking, if I can stop the Cyclone, we're good, right? If I can get Octopus in there and just let him do his thing, we should be good. We'll stop him. He won't be able to do anything. He'll just have to stay in one place. And then we can just work on getting attacks in now and then. But if the little dogs come out, we're going to have to worry about that. It's all good, though, okay? It's all good. So we're going to do this. We don't want to don't want to let him get too close. I'm just going to use the ramens for now. 
This guy will help. Obviously, he'll freeze, and then we got a little extra time to meet shield. Level up a little bit. I don't know. I'm trying very hard not to die here. Um, <laughs> I'm stacking up these Parises like crazy. Trying to keep these guys away from the base. I think I did it. We can get Cosmo out here now. He'll do his little dance. We can keep going. All right. That looks good. Cosmo, you're still doing your attack, eh? I love it, but man, is it long. That's what she said. Oh, no. Cosmo, don't go up there. Cosmo! Cosmo, I forgot how fast you run, Cosmo! It's okay. He's still super far back. Okay. Oh, Cosmo, you done goofed. I know I done goofed, but you done goofed. Wah! Okay, that knocked that guy back. That was cool. Did knock the other guy back. I guess he was not in range. And zoop! That's a nice knockback. Okay, then Cosmo himself got knocked back, so I can see this going downhill fast. Look at that. That was nice. That was a good little shift. I don't know if this can work out, guys. Like, I can't really feel... <laughs> Can't really feel it out right now. Luckily, Cosmo stayed alive a long time. We can get another one now. That would be insane. We just lost Lufaland, though. That's sad. Knock you back. I'm just gonna work on meat shields for a second. I don't know what else to do here. I need enough to get Cosmo. We gotta get, we gotta double Cosmo. Cosmo, you just ran ahead. You should not have ran ahead, Cosmo. It's good that you got a lot of health, bro. You're starting to scare me, honestly. Oh God, we lost, we lost all our good dudes. Pursuit of Cosmo is not going well. Oh! He died! Yeah, baby! Hopefully there's nothing else after this, guys, because with this guy dead... Oh, Cosmo, why did you do that? Here, try again. Don't go too far, okay? Because we're going to stop this guy. We're going to stall him now with our uh, octopus, because he's going to get in there, and he's not going to be hurt anymore. Boop. Okay, but now you're going to just... Uh-huh. I see what's happening here. Somehow the octopus... <laughs> Somehow he held his own there. I don't know. Get back in. We're moving him back, guys, so we're fine. Hey, check it out. Oh! Oh my god! This is like the best day of my life! I didn't even realize Cat, or Cat Tornado had a true form that I was supposed to get. Oh! What, what is it? Because he was Hurricat. No, he's Cat Tornado, then he was Hurricat. I need to see this. Because I love this guy. I mean. Cat Tornado slash Hurricat is one of the best. He's super, because it just said that, so I don't need to confirm that much. Where is he? There he is. Aw. Oh. Aw. Oh. Aw, oh, I cost too much money. I can't even do it. Okay, that's fine. I don't even... Wait, I have storage. Who's in my storage? Nobody? Fruits. Just do what I always do when I need stuff. I just sell an epic cat fruit. I got nine of them, okay? Boom. Now I'm good. Here we go. Boom. And... Cat Typhoon! Hoo-hoo! Swept up in a storm along with the rest of town. Used to it by now, so he came prepared for weather. Super high speed area attacks with critical. They were always area attacks. Nothing else changed. He just looks a little different. I guess maybe some things were be be better than they were. Who knows? It doesn't really specifically say, but this is great. Now, where's facing danger when you need him, huh? Because, I mean, I love throwing this guy out and facing danger. Hmm, whatever. Let's go to Blue Impact. I'm going to check uh, the recommendations from Bark, who, as I've mentioned before, um, I've been using for, for tips. Not using, okay? It, it, he's being nice to me. Nobody's being used. We're just... Chatting. Blue impact can be easily done with a good Catalyte, Meat Shields, Chill Cat, Seafarer, and Aphrodite. I have all those. He says Afro especially. Look, don't worry. I'm gonna use Aphrodite. That's a, that's a given. Catalyte could be better, guys, but a lot of my units could be better uh, if I had, um, you know, if I put more experience into them. It's just that, you know, grinding out experience is not something I do all that much. Okay, Puffer Planet. Puffer, who's a puffer? Is that like the the elephant thing? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, maybe I enjoy a good puff every now and then, but probably not this kind. Oh my god, what is that? It's a puffer fish! Scary, scary. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm way, way too far back. Look at this guy! Bro, you are you are really something. 
Oh no, and here comes the warpers, eh? So now we need to have Catalyte here. This guy gets knocked back easily, huh? Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, yeah, you died right away. My main concern about this one, guys, as I mentioned earlier, sort of... I mentioned earlier that I don't have all the treasures from Cats of the Cosmos 2. Definitely don't have the ones in 3 since I haven't even, like, you know, come close to beating it yet since I haven't started it yet. Okay, we need... Y'all! Y'all need to chill. I didn't realize this guy was gonna come out. Look at him, he's so cool! He's a friggin' puffer fish, but he's got, like, a planet on his tail. He's amazing. Okay? Uh, no rich cat needed yet. Tell you what we're gonna do now. We're gonna not just wait and see what happens. We're gonna, we're gonna stall, okay? Now, boys, don't go stalling too much, or you might end up, uh, setting something off. I don't really know what's going on on this level, guys, but there we go. Okay, I need Seafarer and Chill before Aphrodite, I think. A little bit of a stall there, and let's see what we can do. Well, it's nice if you, you know, don't die. Oh, this dude's range is insane. I'm not, like... Damn it. We're gonna hit him again, but, like, what good is that gonna do if we're not hitting the star? Guys, you're coming up here and doing the thing! I'm not prepared for all the ridiculous aliens that are coming, guys, because I know that Cats of the Cosmos 3 is gonna be awful. But we are gonna get something for beating it eventually, right? Right? So we got Cats of the Cosmos 3 to do. I've got uh, Stories of Legend to get that guy. I don't know, he's, a, he's just a silhouette right now, but that's the thing. Plus, I've got all these different Stories of Legend stages that pop up. No, not Stories of Legend, uh, special stages that pop up. I gotta get treasures. I got so much to do in this game, man. It's crazy that I've been, like, you know, weekly doing Battle Cats every Sunday for a very long time now. And I feel like I haven't made any progress. I feel like I just there's more and more stuff for me to do every week. Uh, smash the like button for the fact that we are still going strong with weekly battle cats guys It is my bread and butter. You guys have been supporting this series so friggin much like it's the most reliable thing I've ever done on my channel and Sometimes my videos flop certain games. I play people are like nah not gonna watch that not even not even a chance of me watching that video But battle cats is never that way. So battle cats is the one thing that keeps me safe and secure. It's my security blanket, so thank you for being my security blanket. Okay, I just realized something, something really important. We can put Aphrodite out and have her do long range attacks on people if we do it right, and we can actually hit the guys in the front with that, but we need to make sure we have like things ready to go at the time. So I'm actually gonna put on a rich cat now. I'm feeling more confident. I'm still not feeling confident, but I'm understanding it a little bit better. I'm just gonna put this one guy out. This one guy is just to make sure the puffer fish doesn't roll all the way to my base. And then we wait. Hmm. I like that we're getting that guy, but we need, we need something to take out the guys in the front. Like Aphrodite is missing and uh, maybe there's an Uber we can use for that, you know? Maybe we don't need to have this guy. Maybe we don't need to have you. I don't know. I'm not sure what to take out here. I'm learning. Okay. Picoland, you need to do something now or we're dead. Yes! Okay, now Aphrodite can actually hit this guy. Wow, we. Oh, but I see that other dude coming now. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> There's always something, man. Always something. You guys, you killed my Picoland so easily. And you killed... Oh, man. They're killing everything. This is... I... I don't think this is a stage I'm gonna be able to beat, guys. I think this is, uh, one of those stages that I'm gonna need to have, you know, some sort of, uh, uh, thing that will power me up. Some sort of thing. Guess who is getting their ass handed to them? Left, right, and center. This guy. Get a load of this guy. Oh! God. Okay. Why would I do this stage? Why would I try any more on this stage when I could just come back when I've got treasures? Come back when I'm a little more powered up. These guys will not die with my current setup. It's, it's not gonna happen, okay? I could be wrong. Maybe a really good player would get in here and bing, bam, boom, do it, but I'm not a really good player. Can we get little cow though? That'd be cool, tiny horns, what do we got here? Who knows, probably probably some little cows, special and rare only, oh god. Okay, this may or may not be a massive waste of time, but 
If we don't want it to be a waste of time, we could just not play it. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, here he is. Looking beautiful, I gotta say. Kinda like it. Uh, let's get some, some shit here. Oh, this dude is really... This dude lays it on thick. Bro, get out of here. Okay, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of cyborgs, right? We're holding them back. We killed them. We're gonna stack. I don't know, man. <laughs> Heaven Cyborg seems like a good idea, doesn't it? All our little meat shields are so slow, it's adorable. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have a hard time killing all these guys, I'll tell you that. Oh, now there's more than one, of course. Well, there goes one. I'm not sure what to even put out here next. Let me try Awaken Bahamut. We can do some damage. Get you back out of here. There. Could be worse, man. Could be worse. Looking okay. Awaken Bahamut is staying alive. I can't deploy any more units. I guess that means we've stacked enough. Huh? Have we stacked enough? I'm gonna keep replacing my meat shields with more cyborgs, okay? Man, that's a lot of health on that base. Two million. It's okay. Oh boy. Even more, eh? Really? Dudes, this is too many. I know the whole point was for me to stack up, and I think I've done a decent job at that, but seriously? Don't tell me you're just gonna keep coming like that. There's gonna be a limit, right? There's gotta be a limit to how many of you guys you can send out. Stop, get away from me. Maybe that's when you wanna have Awaken Bahamut, I don't know. Jeez, Louise. Cat combos, that's what that's what people, good players do, right? When they can't beat something, they like power up things with things they don't need or something. Look, unit attack up medium, doesn't that sound good? Kind of, oh, we can even have, no. No, we can't. <laughs> I was gonna say, we can even have Ultraland in here. No, Cameraman and Cyborg with a uh, attack up perk with a rich cat? I don't know. Let's do it! It's been an hour and four minutes. Why do I even want to beat another stage today? I beat one stage, it was merciless. I should be happy, but no. Okay, unit attack up. This is super easy to spam now, guys, because we just got this right here. So, boop, 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 boom. I do it again. Oh my god, I think it might be working, guys. We're keeping him back. We gotta waken Bahamut out here. He's gonna die, probably. And if he does, it's gonna make it a little bit harder on us, but that's looking pretty good, right? Keep stacking, keep stacking, we good. We good, keep stacking. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Okay, I have a new strategy. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm putting on a cat CPU once uh, once this starts. And I think they might be able to send out a bunch of stuff. I'm just putting out these guys for now to do some more damage because there's a lot of meat shields already. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this particular part is right, but I think the only way to even possibly have a chance of beating this is with a cat CPU. I just can't tap everything fast enough. We make a lot of money at the end. Okay, uh, let's do that. Cat CPU, boom. So that will put Awaken Bahamut up here, and it will also get the other guys going good. Awaken Bahamut is going to keep them from moving in on us, and we can hopefully get a good stack going here. You can't because there's too many friggin' units already. You can't even place any. That's okay. That's fine. Awaken Bahamut still gets to do damage, which is nice. We got a lot of dudes here. Some of them are kind of powerful, I think. Maybe. They, they're basically acting as meat shields at the moment. This is gonna get really stupid soon because we can't afford to keep putting out the meat shields. But Awaken Bahamut is alive. So that like obviously makes a big difference. <laughs> uh, he's still alive. I thought that was gonna kill him. Okay. He, yeah, he's not interested in, he's dead, okay. It's almost like a blessing and a curse that we can't deploy anymore right now. Or a blessing and a curse that we're getting a chance to deploy more. You can hear it happening, but that means we're dying as well. So, uh, I think it should even out towards the base when things can come out a, li a little bit faster. Awaken Muhammad is, uh, gonna be back soon, I think? Yeah, he is gonna be back soon. That would probably do it at that point. Maybe. It's, it's going in the right direction. I mean... That's a win, right? I can smell it. <laughs> We're going in the direction of a win, guys. And they, did they stop putting them out as fast, or would you, did we just start killing them faster? I don't even know. Whatever, just, oh, you touched me. Not supposed to do that. Oh, man, that's a lot of damage. That's good. 
Awaken Muhammad, you're too close. Just got you killed. It's all your fault. That's okay. We won't hold it against you. We'll just keep killing. Here we go, killing again. Look at Matt. Without a strat. That's how, it, that's how it's done, guys. See, I don't even need the internet for anything, ever. Except maybe your views and, you know, my paycheck. <clears throat> we did it, yay! Now our, now our little lion's gonna look so much better. Oh my god. Special, here we go. Yay. Look at that. <laughs> I said our little lion's gonna look better. Our little giraffe is gonna look better now that he's a lion. A tiny guy with dreams of becoming that cat who uses his mane to clean the house. Immune to wave damage. That's good. Immune to wave damage, nice. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and just take a look. Okay, so look how much bigger he gets. He's not even Lil anymore, what's that about? How can you have a thing that's Lil and then it's not Lil and you're still calling it Lil? The hell? Well anyway, pretty straightforward. You know, We know what this one is like because we just fought it. But then we also have a new one. Cat Tornado, Hurricat. Oh yeah. He's got a little spin top on the bottom. What the hell is that about, man? That's weird. <laughs> I like it. He's got an umbrella because, you know, he came prepared for the weather, guys. That's what you do. There's corn in the tornado now. That was not there before. I guess you could call it a cornado. <laughs> Actually, it's not even a tor tornado, is it? It's a typhoon. But whatever. <laughs> and when he gets knocked back, he loses his, uh, he loses his typhoon briefly. Nice. Alright guys, so I think that was pretty good for an episode of Battle Cats, and I actually recorded this one for an hour and 20 minutes. I just really wanted to get that stage done, and we did it. We'll see if these guys come in handy later. I know that uh, Cat Typhoon will because of the fact that he's just an upgraded version of a cat that I use pretty often, so yeah. And I'm not sure when to use the little cats, but I'm sure having Lil Lion will come in handy at some point. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.